Hello, my name is Joseph Bucket, also known as Joseph Stalin, also known as Joseph Fritzl, also known as Joseph Ninmola, but best known as Grandpa Joe, and I am one of the biggest failures at life in all of existence who should have his right leg amputated without anesthesia and bludgeoned with it. Then I should have it put back on my body by a severely autistic surgeon and forced to walk on a cold floor covered in dog shit while barefoot. Then I should be slowly partially skinned and scalped while extra Tony and black midi Tetris block art audio play on surround sound speakers but the audience members and executioner all have noise cancelling headphones that blast out savage and sabotan. Then, I should contract every disease in the world, and finally I should be thrown into a cement truck, before being poured into the road and becoming one with the concrete. That may sound harsh but it isn't, because I suck like a vacuum. Oh, gosh, oh, golly, oh, gee, oh, my, oh, me. You're probably scratching your head wondering why I, a fictional character, from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, which is commonly thought to have no real antagonist or villain, be such a horrific monster as to deserve a punishment so severe. Long story short, I'm a lazy entitled funk. Can I go now? Oh, for fuck's sake, fine. I'll just drag this shit out as much as possible, and hope that, when I'm done, the outcome will be good. You know how the movie wants you to believe I've been bedridden for 20 years? Well, I actually wasn't. I put on a facade. People take the fact that I told my grandson Charlie's mother the floor was too cold for me to get out of bed as proof, but that could just be me trying to be funny and cracking a little joke to her. However there are many, much more damning pieces of evidence that I was never bedridden, but instead a lazy freeloader. One such piece is a scene where I give Charlie a one to bar. At face value the scene will look like me just trying to be nice, but the intuitive WWATC viewers would deduce that, in order to acquire the chocolate bar, I would have to get up and go to a store to buy it. I waited until everyone but Charlie fell asleep so I could give him the bar in private, or else I would expose myself as the perfectly able leech I am. Speaking of getting my lazy ass out of bed, if I literally spent 20 years straight in bed, my muscles would wither, and I would waste away, so how did I not do that? Well, you can tell by how my pinky fingernails are longer than the other nails in my fingers in a scene where I've placed my hands on Charlie's shoulders that I like to sneak out and use Charlie and his mother's hard-earned money to buy crack cocaine. Ha 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 ha. Furthermore, my crack snorting habit is the reason why my family is destitute, why we live in a crumbling and dilapidated house, why my widowed daughter-in-law is working to the point of bony fingers for almost nothing to take care of my selfish ass and the other three senior citizens in bed with me who are actually bedridden, and why we are using my tobacco spit as flavoring for the cabbage water we eat every day. Fa fa fa. But the most glaring bit of evidence, and the biggest slap to the face of common sense and decency has got to be my reaction to Charlie winning a golden ticket, therefore earning an opportunity to tour Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. When I found that out I jumped out of bed making a bowl of cabbage water I had fall right onto my nearly comatose wife's face, and started dancing and singing about how I got a golden ticket, even though it was Charlie's fucking ticket and not mine. Ha 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 hardy 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 harf blah 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 bl
Raffle nail, raffle theo infamo, raffle, 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 Charlie also got ridiculed by other kids for not being able to afford as many candy bars as them because the family is so impoverished. Okay, I better calm down. Sorry about that. I just get a huge kick out of thinking about all the scummy shit I have done. I also displayed fucking disgusting behavior at the chocolate factory tour. Things I have done at the chocolate factory include groping my TV's mother, calling an entire boat good enough to eat, even though I already spent a whole hour gorging on sweets by then, and even doing something that almost cost Charlie the inheritance of the factory. The thing I did that almost led to that consequence was stealing a fizzy drink that makes people float even, oh Mr. Wonka said to not drink it, and even convincing Charlie to follow suit, almost killing us both, when we were within inches of a big running fan in the ceiling. I thought no one would notice us snagging a couple drinks, but I was wrong, and when Wonka gave me the verbal shredding I deserve in that iconic office scene where everything is missing a half. I doubled down and accused him of being a crook, a cheat and a swindler, which should be rich coming from me. The reason Charlie still won the temptation resistance contest was him giving back the everlasting gobstopper that he chose not to consume to Wonka, and that was despite me trying to encourage him to give it to Slugworth instead, who is one of Wonka's competitors. That was a test to see if Charlie was pure-hearted. When Wonka told Charlie he gets to live with him in his factory, the only thing I said in response was the question, and me. I pay no regards to Charlie's hard-working mom who needless to say deserved to tour the factory a lot more than me, or my agonized wife, because I only care about myself. And furthermore, me being the embodiment of all seven deadly sins, while the four bratty kids at the chocolate factory tour were just one each. I started the COVID-19 pandemic. I caused the 2015 international refugee crisis. I shot the Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria-Hungary. I caused the collapse of the Roman Empire. I started the housing crisis. I caused the Great Depression. I support terrorist groups such as Antifa and the Taliban. I voted for Hillary Clinton and that horse tooth jackass Joe Biden. And I will vote for Biden in 2024, too. I caused the bubonic plague. I pour the milk in the bowl before the cereal. I caused the stock market crash of 2007. I assassinated John F. Kennedy. I bombed Pearl Harbor and framed Japan. I spread the Spanish flu. I voted for that big-eared dumbass, Woodrow Wilson, over Teddy Roosevelt. I eat Kit Kats horizontally. I have pit bulls and they are named Bella Luna Cupcake Princess Daisy and Angel. I gave birth to Manny Heffley. I murdered Dimebag Daryl. I am the reason why there are no self-flacing shoelaces. I am the reason why there are no flying cars. I am the reason why there is no cure for cancer. I started the war on drugs. I opened Pandora's box. I lobby against the United States having just a land value tax. I killed Diane Fossey. I sunk the Titanic and Lusitania. I bite into bubble tape. I invented Zephelia and pedophilia. I released the Kraken. And I did 9-11. That's how fucking despicable I am. Okay, was that a lengthy enough description of my acts of barbarity? What's my reward for delivering the details thoroughly enough? I want to claim my reward so I can go home and indulge in yet more self-serving. I am the Pokemon Incineroar and your reward is your ass, Grandpa Joe Biden. You're gonna get your ass handed to you. <laughs>
good riddance, asshole.